Magandang mga kapatid! Welcome back to Juve's Views! Ako si Ralph. <laughs> Ayun, naghahanap lang sa Netflix at nakita ko ito. Mukha ba kaming squatter sa'yo? Mga patay na bata. Itong movie na to, hindi ko alam siya. Wala ko alam alam sa kanya. Nag-scroll down lang ako sa Netflix. Tapos nungabas yung preview nito, nagulat ako Tagalog. So, okay, chinek ko. Apparently, this was directed by the director who made... So yung story nitong Dead Kids, itong main character na si Santa Maria, siya yung outcast dito sa isang school, the type na yung nerd, parang social pariah, let's say. Yung mga ano, lagi siyang no-bully, yung obvious na crush niya, parang hindi siya na, parang ramdam niya, hindi siya na ano, parang alam niyo na yung, you know the situation. Yung ilaki dito na, I wanna say siya yung pinaka-bully sa school, dahil mayaman siya, mayabang siya, party lagi, walang pakialam sa school. Yung character na to, na pangalan si Chuck, talagang tinitorture niya si Santa Maria, pero apparently, hindi lang pala, Si Santa Maria ang tinotorture ni Chuck. So apparently there's three other guys. So itong tatlong guys na to, they go to Santa Maria and they ask him, do you want to make money? And they came up with a plan na kidnapin si Chuck and hold him for ransom para magkapera sila ng 30 million. Dahil alam nilang mayaman si Chuck. So yun na yung story nito, pero yung problema, mga bata pa lang to, mga batang to. Kaya obvious hindi pa nila alam kung paano mag-operate. Yung kidnapping, ransom, whatever. Yung planong yun. So obviously, hindi talaga smooth lahat na nangyari dito. And yung gusto ko i-comment dito sa movie nito is probably one of those Filipino films na I consider a Hollywood film. Kasi halos Hollywood ang gumawa eh. Ang unang pansin ko dito is yung cinematography. Yung kulay nung film. Ang ganda guys. Bihira tayo makita ng Pinoy film na talagang feeling mo gawa ng Hollywood eh. And this one, it feels like gawa ng Hollywood. Tuwa ko sa color ng film, sa acting, sa direction, sa story. Ang galing. Natuwa ako dito. Lalo na yung music, yung score na ginamit nila. I was so surprised. Yung camera dito talagang, talagang yung gumawa ng cinematography nito. Ang galing eh. Talagang alam niya kung tama yung position ng ano. Yung angles dito, hindi nga lang siya yung simple na nakaganyan lang sa mga actors. It works. And then the next thing is yung acting nila. Lahat ng gumanap dito ang galing. Talagang alam nila, kailangan yung isa, double siya yung mukhang nerd. Talagang mahihain siya. Okay yung portrayal niya. Yung isa naman, mukha siyang mayabang talaga, maangas. Ang galing yung portrayal niya. Tapos meron pa yung, yung tatlong kasama ni Tata Maria, which is si Blanco, si Uy, pati si Paolo. Lahat sila, they did their part well. Wala akong makita ng bad acting dito. And yung portrayal ng buhay bata, mala high school man or college, yung talagang inuman, yosi, whatever, puro party, portrayed ng tama dito kasi when you were in school talagang nangyayari yan eh talagang puro party time happy time lang lagi and dito murahan na kung murahan kung ano ano alam mo kung paano most ang most kids mag ano ngayon diba so this is how is really portrayed this film was directed by Mick Hill Red yun nga yung gumawa ng bird shot this guy knows what he's doing kasi talagang ang ganda ng pagka-craft niya ng story apparently this story was written by him and his brother ang galing ng pagka-craft nila ng story kasi pretty simple kasi gusto lang nila getting this guy na nag-torture sa nila they wanna kidnap him and hold him for ransom but problema is even though they said na they have it foolproof na walang problema eh mga bata pa rin sila and of course This is the reason why yung mga plan nila laging gumaganong-ganon. It sometimes nag-work, sometimes nang hindi. Maraming flaws. Pero tamang portrayal yan kasi mga bata pa lang sila. And that's why na-appreciate ko na ang galing na naisip na concept ni Mick Hillred. Ang galing, grabe. This movie surprised me. I was so happy sa movie na to. Talagang hindi lang siya yan eh. Hindi lang siya yung typical kidnapping movie. Talagang ano siya eh. It's more of a thriller pa nga eh. Thriller crime movie na talagang gets mo yung point ng characters kahit hindi mo gusto yung ginagawa nila. Pero gets mo yung point nila pag ginagawa nila to. Although mali ginagawa nila. Maling mali talaga. And dito may kita mo talaga there's consequences sa lahat ng ginagawa nila dito. Kasi di naman sila masamang tao, they just really wanted either the money, I mean lahat sila may motivation kung bakit nila gusto gawin to. Pero alam mo yun, may consequences. Of course, di nila maisip yun kasi akala na okay yung plano nila. Pero what do you expect mga bata sa itong mga to? And then, talagang they came up with a plan na mag-kidnap. Ano ba naman yun? The thought of kidnapping is really bad. And this is such a great movie to recommend kasi it shows na every bad decision you made, it has consequences. Kasi you're willing to do it deliberately. Hindi mo siya ginagawa dahil napilitan ka. You chose to do it. As sinabi ng isa sa mga characters dito, hindi siya namilit na gawin nila to. Talagang they chose to do it. Actually, there are some parts nga na natawa pa nga ako eh. I mean, there's comedic parts to this movie, which I enjoyed. Kasi talagang so situation nangyayari, hindi lang basta comedy, para lang may comedy. Talagang nangyayari to dahil na situation sila na nakatawa talaga. Totoo lang, pwede ito submit as a best foreign language film sa Oscars. 
ganun ko siya nagustuhan. Kasi bihira ako mga pag-recommend ng Filipino movies kasi alam naman natin na hindi perfect lahat ng Filipino films. Pero ito sobrang swak siya. Sobrang swak siya. It's good. And walang problema pa yung audio. There was no problem with the audio. Bihira ako magsabi na about Filipino films. I have so much praise sa movie na to. And I'm glad I got to see it. It's a good thriller crime movie. This movie of course gets a good grade of... Guys, you have to watch this. Talagang na-surprise ako dito. So thank you guys for watching my review of this. Look forward to more reviews, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Please subscribe and like. Please makatulong po sa akin to. And I will help you as well if you need help po. Thank you so much. I love you guys and God bless you.